We're gonna put Chikalov again, though. We're gonna see if I can if I can learn anything about this ship, having just watched it played and played it a little bit myself. No, that'd be really awesome, actually. But like, think back to the early part of that match, right? Me and the Petro were kind of tag teamed. I think of the first two waves that we got of Chikalov, he only he might have gotten two planes out of that first one. I know this first torpedo strike he bought and he lost it all. He brought it, he brought it and he lost it all. So admittedly, he's got almost three full strikes on his deck when the game starts. So he can just keep vomiting planes. It's kind of like it's kind of like a more obscene Kaga, right? If you get right down to it. You almost don't care about trying to protect your plane losses because you have so many available and your ship regenerates them so quickly, you just don't you literally don't care. I'm going to play it that way this game and see if see if my theory is correct. Fair enough, Caron. Gearing Shima Emilio. All right, so I feel like the dive bombers, I might be able to get some use out of this game. So we're going to start with the dive bombers. You did it. You crazy son of a bitch, you did. Silver BK with the resub. Welcome in. Thank you so much. God bless America. Thank you most kindly. I do like I do like the little jet assisted takeoff stuff that they have, right? Because eventually it like falls away. See? The little jet assisted takeoff stuff gets you off the deck and then eventually just falls away in the ocean and makes a big mess. It's kind of funny. The Wooster, I probably can't attack realistically. Uh, probably not. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Skull TV lad, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. All right. Uh, uh, there's a Friedrich. Mizzou. Yamato. There's the opposing carrier. There's the Salem, who I want no part of right now. Okay, he's telling me to look over here for a destroyer. Sure, let's look over here for a destroyer. Ah, look who we found. This will be my chance to test the bombs against a destroyer. Not bad, actually. That's not bad for only one bomb hit. I could do this all Let's do it again. Let's do it again. I have high hopes for Tulsa. Um, I feel like Rochester's a lost cause at this point. I don't feel like Rochester is worth it. Um, ooh, I got a gearing over here, too. Ooh, let's go beat up on that guy. Let's go beat up on that guy. That's correct, TJ. You take a squadron out, you get one drop. That's all you get. It's actually, honestly, the, the squadrons are meant to, you know, you, you hit decently hard, but you only get the one attack. If that's how it ends up working out in the long haul, I'm honestly okay with it. The struggle I have is that on these bigger maps, it feels like your planes are just kind of not always useful, right? He's going to get out here behind this island. I know you're here, Mr. Gearing. I know you're here, Mr. Gearing. There you are. Really? Okay. Sure. Welcome. Six bombs of that reticle. Land zero. Amaze balls. Yeah, I'll go find the Paolo. Let's go get him. Harlem, thank you for the follow. I basically have to stay on the Paolo. The 
Paolo is literally choosing his run, his suicide run. Like, this is it. This is it. And he has no eyes. He has no idea where this North Carolina actually is. Until now. Oh, and he blew one of the torpedo salvo. He blew them both! <laughs> you crazy son of a bitch, you did. That is the funniest damn thing I've seen in weeks. <laughs> to clip that that's amazing <laughs> that's the kind of crap that you cannot predict that was amazing all right bismarck is isolating himself i feel like that's a good opportunity for some bomb for some uh, for some drops um mass is over here by himself too let's see what we can get back here that was amazing i'm more likely to attack the bismarck than than the, um... To Jurassic Park. Uh, than the Massa. Ooh, hello, Gearing. Hi. Hi. How you doing? How you doing? I'm gonna make you turn your AA on now. That might be a good hit. Finally. Hail to the king, baby. Madre de Dios, what did I do? Um, yeah, he detonated. Yikes. Okay, well, so, um... Yeah, so, um, he detonated, and I grabbed the wrong squadron. Here we go. Let's go harass this Bismarck, because we can. Yeah, that was not nice. All right, we're going to try the I don't care about my planes, let's throw them away as quick as we can uh, mode at this point. We have a Friedrich in our cap. I could do this all day. Well, after we torp run the Bismarck, uh, I might go after him, or probably will go after him. I like it. You're so cute, Mr. Bismarck. You think I care about your little, your little dinky plane? I don't. I don't. No, that will not buff out. That 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 bomb drop on the um, on the uh, what's it will not will not buff out. That's not going to buff out. All right, torpedo bombers, let's get some work in. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got six planes. All right, so I'm thinking. I'm thinking the the, the kind of the, the the rationale here is the acceptance that look, you know, you're gonna lose planes on the way in, right? Like it's gonna happen. So maybe you just decide to hell with it. Let's just do it and suffer. This nor this Friedrich might not still be alive when I get up here to torpedo him. To Jurassic Park. Oh, he's turning. Oh, he'll be alive. But not for long. <laughs> Welcome to Jurassic Park. All right. Um, who did I miss? Oixo Monty Ryu, guys. Thank you for the follows. Welcome in. All right, um, try for some bombs on the Bismarck, I guess. We've got a, we've got a handy little ship lead. Let's move up into mid. Our Kerfurst has chosen suicide for reasons that uh, only he can explain. He's literally in front of our destroyers, which feels 
bizarre. Um, let us try for the skip bombs from this direction on either the Talon or the Mass. Either one of these will be a good pick for me. Assuming that they are still alive when I get there. And right now, that is not really a guarantee. We're going to try for the mass. Well, I hit him. Just didn't like didn't get didn't get the fire I needed. Other flank seems to be folding. They've caught up on ships for the moment. Why we can't seem to put this mass and this Talin out of our misery feels kind of bad. They're going to get the mass here. Let me get the Talin. Then I can go after the Bismarck. Never mind. That works too. Bismarck it is. Two. Two planes survived to drop and they both missed. <laughs> hmm. So, Fire Marshal, I haven't figured it out yet. There's a forum thread about it, actually. Um, does anybody know what anybody know where that forum thread is? I know it's out there. There's a forum thread about it. Uh, about the achievements. There you go. Nolo's got it. I actually I actually have to go read it. I don't I know they exist, I don't know what they do just yet. If you'll get away from the Salem, I feel like I got a decent shot at torpedoing this Bismarck. We have no more battleships. All of my battleships have suicided, which feels really awful. Okay, I'm going to have to get away from the Amato, who looks like he's going to come down the channel. Okay. So there's that, whatever that is. Let's go put some damage into the... Have you, let's see. I'm, I'm going to trust that the Nevsky can deal with the Shimakaze. However, I'm going to put a strike in in the Yami... And then I will um, throw some dive bombers that direction to give him a hand. Okay, he's not going to come down mid. Okay, that's actually a little surprising. I assumed that he was. I might catch a couple of those, maybe. No. Okay, waste of time. Um, let's get this Nevsky some help and go spot the Shima and try to kill him. Because apparently nobody shot at him all game, which I find very disappointing. Okay, he's over here. What's up, Hapa? How you doing, buddy? I've been meaning to tag you. I wanted to get in some Hell Let Loose with you when you got some time. How's your Sunday looking? Come on, Shima. I know you're up here, buddy. I know you're here. You think he's there? Okay, I'll take your word for it. You were right earlier. No, that's not it. Try again.
Yep. Finding destroyers is so easy. Yeah, this should help. And I guess my Nevsky's out of radar. Yeah, I tried that. That's not where he is. You try I tried that earlier. That's not where he is, sir. On the other hand, there's the enemy carrier. Have fun with that. Okay, no worries, Sampa. Well, we'll see. Sunday evening is probably going to be bad for me, but we'll figure something out. I really need to kill this Salem. We get the Salem off the board, I think we've got this. I'd love to find this Shima, but of course, we have no idea where he is. My Nevsky's apparently no idea what his where his radar is. Wait a minute. I'm not spotted. Where is this dude? Is he in the cap? He is. He's in the cap. Look at the smoke. He's in the cap. Okay. That tells me at least where to look. Shot for the Yammy. Oh, I'm out of play. I'm out of fighters. I mean, for this guy. I think he's. Does he think he's trying to cap? I think he might be trying to cap. Nah, there he is. Yep, he's trying to cap. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, the die bombers are really good against destroyers. Let's do that again. Hi, I'm back. Did you miss me? Not for long. One more. Okay, so he's hurting. Now, let's go put some poor... Oh, my God. The Salem is crawling up my ass. How did the Venezia lose that fight? God damn it. How did the Venezia lose this fight? No, it's the wrong type of plane. I'm just going to have to spam torps at this guy and hope it works, I suppose. Uh, about like that. Next. Oh, he went fast, did he? All right, well, we can do that. How did the Venezia lose this fight? A Venezia versus a Salem should be an easy, easy win. And yet somehow, somehow it wasn't. The motto is going to come around the corner and white and waste me. That's all it's going to take. Twenty seven hundred HP. Much better. I'm going to be dead. I'm going to die. I'm dead already. This Nevsky, what is he doing out there, man? If that guy had the brains, oh, my God.
You don't win games from the one line, sir. The bottom tier aircraft carrier outscored everybody. Everybody. Understand, I am a trash carrier player. The trash carrier player outscored the tier 10 battleships on my team. <sighs> All right, things we learned that game. Things we learned that game. The dive bombers are effective against destroyers. Not just the, not just the gearing detonation. That was ridiculous. But like, I, I did pretty good work against the Shimikaze. I like that. Um... Shikalov to me feels easier to neutralize than most other carriers. The reason for that is she has to have run up time for her attacks. She has to. That Yamato's position late in the game. What am I able to do to him? I can torpedo him from the bow. The skip bombers are worthless. I have to loop all the way around the top of the map to come back to hit him with skip bombers. Waste of time. The dive bombers become useful. I can quick cycle those right over the island and drop them on his deck, but they won't pen anything, right? At best, I'm looking for fires. So, and maybe this is this is this might even be a thing with just Soviet carriers in general, right? If you are working in close to islands, um, the Soviet carrier is really going to struggle to hit you, right? Like he has his. Um, oh, I I know Simpy, I know. But my point is, I was still able, even with you there, Simpy, I was able to do good work against the Shimakaze, right? I mean, I didn't kill him, but I hit him hard. Um, the only reason I quit going after him was because I had a Salem crawling up my butt that my team somehow couldn't kill. Because my battleship suicided, you know, 16 minutes before the game was over. So, anyways, um, uh, you're going to have a hard time convincing me of that, Grant. But the reality is, is that what I like about Shikalov is she has she has tools in her toolbox to deal with things that other carriers don't right now. Very, very few carriers uh, outside of the Americans, the American dive bombers, are effective against destroyers. Okay, if you're a German carrier, whatever, right? If you're a Japanese carrier, maybe, right? The rockets, okay, a little bit every now and then, perhaps, and the torp the fifty knot torpedoes, much like the Germans, is where your 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 damage potential exists, right? The AP bombs, no. Um, if you're a British carrier, well, rip you. I'm sorry you're playing British carrier because you have never been effective at almost anything and Wargaming doesn't seem to care that you're not really effective at anything. So sucks to be you, I guess. Um, Lowenheart is the exception. That's fair, Night Owl. But my point is Lowenheart's bombs are massive, right? Chikalov's dive bombs are, I, I think they're only 250 kilos or something, but you're putting six in the reticle. You're probably going to land a couple or three. That's a good hit. Now, I detonated the gearing. That's really unusual. That's not normally going to happen. But, um, I mean, I got, what, probably, I'm going to guess, without looking, I'm going to guess four bombs on this Shima for that 10K. Four bombs for 10K. So if you're hitting him with a bomb, you're hitting him for 2,500 damage a pop. He can't handle that very long. Plus, if your team is, you know, conscious and breathing, um, <laughs> hopefully, they're shooting at the destroyer while he's spotted as well. So I'm instinctively like interested in this ship because it simply it returns to a world where carriers have effective tools against multiple classes, as opposed to the world that carriers are in now, where their tools against destroyers have been nerfed to the point of uselessness. Um, I'm 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 interested. I'll I'll actually be curious to play this ship again.